research group uh, works on three distinct but also interconnected areas. One is geotechnics, the second is earthquake engineering, and the third area is risk and hazard assessment. Our research is not only related uh, to earthquake themselves, but uh, we deal with uh, um, cyclic and dynamic loading subject uh, that, uh, to which uh, structures and soils are subjected to. We're one of the most active, active groups, not only in the UK, but also in Europe. Uh, our activities during the last five years include uh, more than uh, 20 million in grants, in research funds, uh, including uh, the major project of UK CRIC, uh, namely the UK Collaboratorium for uh, Research in Infrastructure and Cities, which is uh, currently funding the development of a new laboratory facilities to expand our expertise and our experimental capabilities for the future. In terms of practical way and practical impact that uh, our research can have uh, in everyday life of people, you can for sure inform government policy maker on how to make uh, uh, the effect of a catastrophic event like earthquake less impacting, uh, help policy maker to set up uh, policies and set up for post-emergency, prioritization of interventions to set up new guidelines on how to uh, build up structure, how to build up foundation that would be safe for uh, the next, uh, let's say, 500 years, 200 years. Soil, when subject to earthquakes, can develop complicated behavior and end up in phenomena such as uh, earthquake-induced soil liquefaction. Yes, soil liquefaction is the closest our group can get to Hollywood because have uh, striking similarities to quicksand, the stuff we see on uh, Hollywood movies. So what basically happens is that uh, when an earthquake uh, strikes and there is sand with water, then uh, the material becomes like a soup and people start sinking and uh, empty stuff buried like uh, tunnels and pipelines and uh, other things start floating. So it is the closest we can get to the quicksand we observe in those nice Hollywood movies very dangerous but it is very exciting from a research viewpoint. What we can offer here is offer the possibility to study this behavior experimentally at different scales and also offer the possibility to analyze this behavior using computational facilities and end up with innovative methodologies in order to be able to design our structures uh, against phenomena such as earthquake induced liquefaction. The strength of the research group is definitely with the people. The unbelievably talented um, group of young people that have joined the group since approximately 2010. The other strength is the existence of uh, very, very high-end laboratories, both a geotechnical laboratory as well as uh, state-of-the-art uh, earthquake lab, including the only high-capacity shaking tables that currently exist in the UK. The principle of the shaking table is to simulate what really happened during uh, an earthquake. Our shaking table has the, um, uh, the quality of having six degree of freedom. That is something that you do not often have in uh, typical shaking tables. In our case, our shaking table can shake at the same time in, uh, in vertical, having vertical motion and uh, both horizontal motion. The most exciting thing about our research is probably the challenge. The challenge of uh, dealing with complicated materials such as soil or different materials that we're using for our super structures, which if you subject them to cyclic uh, excitation, cyclic loading, uh, an earthquake, they exhibit very complicated uh, behavior. And it's a big challenge to be able to reproduce this behavior in the laboratory, uh, on the computer, and also on paper in order to be able to use and design with these uh, materials uh, for, uh, for making our infrastructure earthquake resilient. Mm -hmm.